Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another review video. This time we're going to take a look at a product that a company named Vimtag sent in. And as you can see here, it's one of these, um, I don't know if you call it a smart camera, uh, but it's basically one of these Wi-Fi connected cameras that uh, generally they're set up for like home security or maybe monitoring your children or pets or whatever. Anyway, uh, this model in particular, uh, that what, what specifically interested me is it's uh, marketed as indoor and outdoor. And there's some stickers here. It says 1080p. That's going to be, I, I guess, a sensor um, quality. And there's a sticker that says AI, which I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so it does do like IR, night vision. I believe there are IR LEDs built in. We can take a look at this, plugging it in and pointing at the camera. You should be able to see if there is any uh, built-in IR LEDs. It says it has a built-in spotlight. I'm guessing that's the the cutout for the LED right here at the top. Uh, it says two-way audio. So you could actually set this up kind of like a doorbell thing where you could talk to someone on the other end or whatever. And it does have motion detection and <laughs> human detection uh, that's kind of weird they specify hum human but whatever anyway there is an accompanying accompanying app uh, that you can install i don't know if it's necessary to use this product because i do know the thing that that differs uh between this model and there's a lot of other similar models that rely on a uh, network subscription model sort of thing this actually has a built-in sd card which i think is a huge plus in my book uh hopefully you don't need to to have the app connected or anything like that i'm hoping that you could just insert an sd card and it'll just go off on its own uh, but you might need to reconfigure everything with the app at least once hopefully it doesn't require me to like sign in or create an account or anything like that but we'll see anyway it says ready for any weather ip65 so that means dust and waterproof a pretty wide operating range from negative four to 131 now, one thing that does stink is there's no battery or anything. This is quite a small unit. So it, it has to be tethered, basically, with a USB cord to power it. So even though you can stick this outside, you're going to need an outlet nearby, unfortunately. Uh, and additionally, last but not least, it says it works with Alexa. So that might be a plus or a minus, depending on what your views on that are. Anyway, yeah, nice enough box. Let's just get into it. And I do like how the stand actually is pretty articulated, it looks like. So we have a little booklet. Basically how to install it, how to download the app, how to use the app, etc., etc. Looks like we have some accessories it comes with. Oh, well, this is actually the camera itself. I thought that the accessories were here. Anyway, yeah, it's a tiny little guy. I'll show you guys in a sec. Oh, okay. The accessories are below. And here. So it does, thankfully, come with its own power brick. And this guy is uh, Tekka branded. And 5 volts, 1 amp. It's pretty small. This is not going to be waterproof, clearly. So <laughs> you are going to have to maybe run a longer cord and, like, um, use some silicone to seal the ends if you are going to stick a power brick outside but yeah at least it does come with a very long well relatively long usb and here if i put it on the ground it's a little bit taller than me so it's probably about six feet long and it comes with some 3m looking adhesive this is like that gel type of adhesive that's super sticky so if you wanted to yeah i'm guessing that just goes on the bottom here and you can stick that to whatever your heart desires. And last but not least, if you want to actually screw it into the wall, uh, it does have two screws available. Uh, interestingly enough, I guess they give you an extra because there's only one hole to mount it and it has one of these eyelet mounts. So you just kind of slip it on there. Uh, as for the unit itself, you do have some kind of cable management clip thing on the base. The base is not weighted or anything, so it's... Unless if it's sitting straight up, it's not really going to balance itself. So they are kind of assuming that you are going to either balance it perfectly so it doesn't fall over or just mount it kind of semi-permanently somewhere. 
The articulation is kind of stiff, so it'll hold whatever position you kind of put it in. So if you were to tape this to a wall, you can kind of aim it at least with within one axis at any angle that you want. Now you can't rotate it left and right. Actually, wait, you can. <laughs> As like little detents. Okay, perfect. So there's two two points of articulation, which is fantastic. Awesome, I like that. Uh, we have the cord itself. Interestingly enough, has its own like a uh, little rubber encapsulant. So when you stick the cord in, it actually, if you use the cord that it comes with, it actually seals. Actually, that's pretty good. Water will probably get in there, so you probably want to put a bead of silicone or something like that just to make sure. Yeah, you just heard it. That pop sound basically means that it is actually creating a decent enough, at least airtight seal. There you go. And on the bottom, we have the probably a reset button, it says, maybe for power as well or something. And we have the SD card slot. Now, actually, okay, it does sort of press into the case. So, yeah, I don't know how well that'll be waterproof. If, if you're mounting it kind of, well, I guess if you're mounting it normally so that that part's facing down, it shouldn't have too much trouble. Uh, unless if you mount it like this, pointing straight down, then that might be an issue, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. Yeah, and it looks like there is maybe a speaker on the back here, and this might, either an ambient light sensor, maybe the microphone. And the camera itself has a protective film on it. And yeah, you can see two, they look like white LED. Actually, these are... Uh, these are the IR LEDs, it looks like I was saying, there's actually four LEDs in there, two IR and two white. And last but not least, there's a little rubber grippy feet, I guess, if you're just going to stick it on a table, and that's it. So yeah, I guess all that's left is to install the app and uh, get some test footage on this guy. Okay, and here's where I have the camera installed, just pointing out of my front window onto my driveway. And I've been using this for about a week, so give me one sec to, to get set up on the table. Okay, so yeah, uh, like I was saying, I had this set up for actually more than a week. I think it's been probably about a week and a half now. And I have notifications turned on on my phone, and so every time it senses movement, you can actually turn this on and off either when it senses sound or movement or a human walking by. You can actually set different threshold levels for everything, so that's actually really cool. So what do I really think about this? For $30, this is actually really good. It, it was actually better than I thought it would be. Uh, I know this is very similar to competing products that are available that heavily rely or only solely rely on the cloud. And I really don't like that. I was tempted to actually buy one of the name brand ones. And then I read, basically, you're locked into the cloud, the subscription model. And uh, one of them, you could buy like a little USB plug thing that plugs into the wall that it'll record onto a thumb drive. But I read like conflicting reports about that not working so great and like your internet 
Um, like you, you'd still have to pay for some kind of contract or something. I don't know. It, it was just like really confusing. I don't know why other manufacturers, much larger manufacturers, just don't add on an SD card like this guy. Seriously, it's it's not rocket surgery. I understand why they do it because they want to make money on you, off of you every single month and to, to kind of lock you into their ecosystem, which is kind of really annoying. So I'm actually really happy to see that they added an SD card slot on here. You can use their cloud service, which is fair enough. Um, I haven't looked into pricing on that, but I'm going to guess it's going to be similar to their competition. So, but just having the SD card, every, it does everything that I want. Uh, the app... You can download um, any pictures or video that it's taken. Uh, the interface is, it's its okay. It's, it takes a little getting used to, um, to navigate around it. Uh, but you really only need, need to set this guy up once. The setup was actually pretty painless. Uh, there's actually a QR code on the side of it on a sticker. And in the app, it's cool. It actually tells you to point your phone at the camera and it'll auto link to it. And I guess it's that encodes like the IP address of it or whatever. And it worked the first time. No issues. It took me like only five minutes to set this up. It was uh, pretty quick to connect to my Wi-Fi and then I was pretty much ready to go. So yeah, as for video quality on this, uh, it's actually pretty good. Um, it, there's a caveat. Uh, it initially was set up with um, compression turned on to save memory space, but I have a 32 gigabyte card and there's kind of no point, unless if you have a tiny memory card, might as well just set the video quality to the max. Uh, so I, I have a 32 gig card, it's not even full yet. And it's been, what, a week and a half or so of footage. So, and and it, it's set to, once it fills up, it'll start re-over-recording the oldest footage anyway. So might as well just set, if, if you really need this like for security, you're going to want good quality video. I mean, if you have crap video, then that's not going to help you in an emergency anyway. As for the audio, I actually ended up turning off the audio because it's indoors right now. So even if it's taking videos of my driveway, it's not like I could hear anything anyway. So I just turned off audio um, in the recording, but yeah. As for the night vision, now this does have IR, but the location that I put it in is, is sort of a predicament. Uh, the IR, when I first tested it, I had it turn it auto on once it got dark. Uh, but the, the window actually reflects the IR and it basically just whited out the entire screen and I couldn't see anything. So that was kind of useless. That would probably work very well outdoors uh, if you have your camera actually mounted outdoors, but I currently can't because I have no outlets anywhere near where I'd want to put it. So I would probably have to run like an extension cord or something like that and I'd rather not do that. So I'm just going to point it out the window. And what surprised me is I turned off the night vision IR and the camera, the, like the CMOS sensor is actually sensitive enough that even without the IR, it can actually see like what appears to be like super dark to my eye. It actually is sensitive enough to make out cars and like people and that kind of stuff, which is kind of surprising. I, I've i played with some, some like low light cameras and this seems to actually have beaten my experience with uh, like low lux cameras. And the, the only thing though is it does there there is significant noise the darker it gets and some somewhere around like 3 a.m in uh, some of the footage i was watching uh it's it gets so dark that even the camera the low light sensor isn't capable of picking much up uh, though you can still generally see shapes and stuff like that uh but yeah so if you are going to use this outside just put it outside and use the actual built-in ir light now it does have a white led as well so it can light up the area if it senses motion uh, and just use that and cap capture color you know vision that that obviously whoever i mean i guess if you want to use this to, to dissuade criminals from being criminal, I guess, that would be fine, but obviously then they'd be able to see the light. Uh, but if you just leave this on IR, normal human eye can't even see it, so. Yeah. But even for 30 bucks per camera, uh, I think that's actually a really good deal. I haven't had any issues with this. It's been connected uh, through my Wi-Fi. It hasn't kicked me off or anything, and it's been connected 24-7, and I, I just leave it running. It's plugged into the wall right now. 
and I haven't had any connection issues. I was able to uh, use my phone over uh, cellular network from work. Uh, I got a notification that I had movement in my driveway and I was able to look at the footage in real time and then go back and look at what it recorded all basically through cellular and then to my home's Wi-Fi. And so there's absolutely no issue. My Wi-Fi isn't the best at home, so uh, buffering might have taken a little while. But because I was storing everything on the SD card anyway, it was actually pretty easy. I could just directly download the footage instead of streaming. It took a little while, uh, probably around like five megs a second, something like that, through my cell phone. If you guys are interested, I will have links down below. The brand is Vimtag, and I could actually definitely see myself getting a couple more of these and setting them up kind of around my house in specific locations. They're definitely cheap enough and you can get like a 32 gig SD card for like four or five bucks nowadays. So just grab one for each camera. Um, they go in the bottom there and you're pretty much good to go. Now I am a little bit worried. Uh, there's like a rubber flap that goes over where the SD card is uh, to make sure that uh, water at least shouldn't get in there. I wouldn't know about like leaving this out if you have like a lot of like moist weather or like freezing cold. I don't know. There's no battery inside, so I'm not worried about that. But water ingress might be an issue, and they've tried to mitigate that on the cord by having like a the rubber sleeving extend. And if you use the USB cord that they provide, it does kind of create like an airtight seal. It seems like. But I would still, if you are going to install this outside, I would still put a bead of silicone around kind of the seam on the, the um, USB cord just to make sure that no water gets in there because that will definitely kill uh, electronics pretty fast, water ingress. But yeah, uh, overall, definitely give it a thumbs up. It's worked great. Uh, time will tell if, if anything happens within the next like year or so of use, I'll, I'll definitely post like an update or at the very least... Uh, in the community tab, I'll, I'll give you guys an update if anything happens. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.